Okay, welcome back to the second part. Um, I noticed that I've had my uh, my uh, rep here all all uh, started. Uh, so I got the lines, and the last part I showed you how to block out the details and everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the eyes right now. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sharpen my pencil here, so I get a nice sharp line for the detail. The face is actually quite small because I do plan to draw a little bit more of the body this time around. Um, okay, so. Now they got the got everything blocked out. So all I gotta do is just come in and fill in the fill in the details here. Now this is quite dark in here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start mapping out the rest of the face. Here's some of the um, eyelashes, and there's a there's the uh, upper eyelid fold that comes in like this, and then put the uh, lower lower lash in, and I'm gonna map in the the eyebrow here. Eyebrow is actually kind of thin, so we're just gonna use a a slight line to designate where the eyebrow is. Now for the eye, she's kind of looking away, or actually not away, she's looking at you, but she's looking at you at an angle, so put that in here. So. Now, since this is all shadowed, it's a very, very dark eye, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in right now. There we are. And then let's start on the other eye here. This is actually quite shadowed here, so I'm just going to bring it up, map out the eye, draw on some eyelashes. And then I'm going to start blocking some of the details just to kind of remind myself where I'm going here. <clears throat> this eye is a little brighter, so I'm just going to map out some of the eye, or put in some of the tones on the eye, but um, not make it as dark, just because this is going to be a lot darker. This actually whole thing, whole side of the face here is going to be shaded in. I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit, uh, another layer of tone over it, just to remind myself. And then uh, I'll be working the, to working the tones over and over again until I get it. All right. Again, I'm sorry, i got to limit this video to about 8 minutes, so I'm going to be constantly watching the time here of, of what I'm doing. Um, so, there's a hard line shadow that goes down, runs down the length of her nose here. Which, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, darken this area up here, which is the, the ridge of the nose here. Now, her nostril uh, extends, and this is one way, this is what I was talking about using reference um, to the eye. So, tooth from the eye her nose, if I draw a straight line down, it's gonna be about right here. So usually it's very nice to use reference points uh, when, you're, when you're drawing, just, just because it, it kind of uh, enables you to map out the eye, or map out the uh, the facial features correctly. Now I probably made her nose a little too long, maybe I'll just move it up about here. And then we'll draw the first nostril in, which comes in down a lot, about right here. And then the second nostril is actually just a small little line that goes about there. And just to make, just to check my work, um, that seems about right. What I'm gonna do is now. There's a beauty of blocking out. When you get that in there, now see. All I gotta do is just come in and just take this line out if I really don't want to see it. Take this line out where the middle of where I drew originally, and there you go. Now, it'll, now you got a got a face uh, starting to take shape. Her chin and everything. I'm gonna have to be correcting in a little bit. So that's why I can adjust all this stuff here. Uh, usually I, I try and reference everything from the middle of the face outwards because it's much easier than for me, than a lot of people like to draw the entire face and start blocking the features. Uh, it's very hard for me to do that only because I, I need to gauge how much how much space I'm working with. So it's easier for me to go from in and then slowly work my way outside to the, to the perimeter. So usually when you see any of my drawings, it's always the eyes first. From the eyes, I go reference how, how far from the eyes is the nostrils and from then from the lips and so on and so forth. And then, then from that point, I, go, I work my way out outwards um, but for the purpose of this exercise this is mainly for the blocking blocking in part so I should, I'm just demonstrating how to block in a, an actual a drawing and go, then go from there so um, actually quite a bit dark shadow here on her nose which I'll block in there and then from here even darker shadow comes up like so Hard line there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take away most of this right here later on. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and block in a little bit of tone here. Same with the, uh, 
same with the I. Then got a little bit of shadow underneath the lid, which I'm gonna put in. And this is a nice hard line shadow right here. And it fades out to, to a little bit lighter tone on this side, but we won't be doing killing that until later in the later in the video here. So let's go ahead and work on the other eye here. The other eye has a lot of tone on the top above the above the upper lid. Here's the upper lid right there. And right above that lid is the eyebrow. Kind of comes in like that. And her face actually is right here. So this is where I talk about the adjustments. So I can go in there and just readjust this so the face starts here instead. I'll be doing that a little later. I'll go ahead and take out this little block blocking outline here to give me an idea what I'm or how close I am with everything. I'll go and darken up the tone here. Now most of the light is coming on from this side, so you know, um, so you know that most of the most of the tones you're gonna have some nice bright uh, hot spots here and hot spots here and so forth. And then to designate her cheek, we're just gonna use the old technique I showed in the other video. Come and draw a little, a nice little um, tone area here. There we are. Now most of this is gonna to be toned also. I'm not gonna leave it just just this uh, just with no tone and then uh, this way is you know because it's gonna make it look way too high contrast. Do that. So then from this point I can go and adjust her face actually. So let's go ahead and redraw her face. It comes in like this with the right her eye, her cheekbone comes out to about here, and then curves in here and then I'm gonna redo her chin here so I'm actually making her face a lot smaller so I was way off when I first did this and it comes in this way so now once that happens what I can do is I can just kind of lightly erase these lines here because I don't actually know, uh, need them anymore so there we go and then obviously her hair is gonna be fixed again from this point on so actually her cheekbones quite a bit higher so let's take that out so we're gonna move her cheekbone up this way so you notice I'm just basically uh, um, fixing as I go along so I'm, I'm referencing where I'm at with the overall uh, overall features and I'm just gonna fix all the features shrink it down make it larger whatnot until I get everything right now that's the beauty of pencil because it's very forgiving so <clears throat> very simple to do this um, so I'm almost running out of time just hit the eight minute mark so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rough in some more more uh, more features and then when we come back a lot more of the drawings will be done actually when, when I come back and then um, I'm hoping to keep these uh, these videos down in length so anyway uh, until the third part um, I hope you guys uh, have a happy time drawing and I will uh, I'll see you in the third part talk to you later